We're here at Snap-on World Headquarters. I'm Jared Dienda. I'm here with Scott Singpeel of Snap-on Tools, and we are standing in front of this beautiful Snap-on EUV. That stands for Epic Utility Vehicle, because it's epic. It's the size of a small apartment, and it can hold a lot of tools. But you want to be organized, right? I mean, time is money. Absolutely, yeah. The more time uh, that you can save as a technician, the more money you can make, especially if you're working flat rate. So. Yeah, I mean, you could easily just throw your tools in here, but let's talk about organization. Absolutely. So we came out with slots and dots many, many years ago. And the whole point of slots and dots, especially on the back of risers or work centers or even lockers, is to utilize your, your cubic inches versus your square inches. So the more that you can go vertical and utilize as much space, whether it's uh, inside of a work center or in a drawer, the better. Something like this, power tools. They take up a lot of room but you easily hang this right here. And now you got your power tools out of the way. Yeah, and so this is a, a standard power tool rack that comes in some roll cabs, but if it doesn't come in your roll cab, you can add this as an accessory to go uh, in here or on an, a side panel of your roll cart or your roll cab, and it comes in both three and five configurations. So you can have a number of different options. A lot of the, a lot of the tool storage comes with locks. So, say you don't want something to get uh, get stolen, your gloves right here, you can put them right here on slots and dots. Close it up, lock yeah, it up. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you're trying to free up as much workspace as you have on your bench. So, the, so by, by putting things that you're going to use somewhat regularly uh, inside lockers or on, on the back of your work center, the better. Organization, some of the other hand tools or miscellaneous organizers over here, what do we got? Yeah, so here we've got two different options for whether you're hanging screwdrivers or T-handle wrenches or anything that has a, has a shank, you can use this. So you have one that's sort of your shallow depth and then one that's your, a little bit deeper. So depending on if you have a T-handle that's a little bit longer versus a screwdriver, two different options here. And then uh, as, a, as a side accessory to that, you have one that has a U in it. So if you don't want to necessarily go up and out of the organizer, you can just slide in. Again, just another option. Miscellaneous hangers right here, used in conjunction with slots and dots. Put a couple hammers on that, singular hammer here. Sure. All right, let's move on down. Let's talk about drawer organization. And look at this, many different options here for sockets. So as you can see, we have two different styles. You have a shallow and a deep socket stand versus a shallow, semi-deep and deep. And these come in a variety of colors depending on whatever, you know, you like yellow, you like red, orange, whatever it might be, we've got the, the style for you. Comes in quarter, three eighths, and half inch drive. Now taking a look at this display here, you can see it's got the handles, so yep. it's mobile as opposed to just keeping it in your drawer or hanging it up. What other organizers do we have here? Yeah, this is uh, kind of a neat way to organize your bits. So if you do a lot with quick change bits, uh, a lot of different holes here, places to lay down longer bits, bit drivers, all kinds of things, uh, even a couple of spots here for quarter and three ace drive, whether it's sockets or accessories that would go on a bit driver or an impact. Another example over there as well. Yeah, this is just another way to uh, continually organize your sockets. It's, uh, this is great for swivel sockets, those specialty sockets that maybe don't necessarily fit in a standard socket rack like this. Gives you a great option to be able to securely put them on here and not lose them. Removable, it's got a hole in there, maybe you could even hang it on a hook. That's how versatile this whole system is. Exactly. Moving on down, you're talking about options and scenarios. An absolute rainbow of colors here, depending on your flavor. These are very common that you see uh, in a lot of technicians' box, but it's just a way to organize your wrenches outside of the plastic trays. We also make a magnet style where it's one rail that goes up with magnets, and that's another way to organize your wrenches. And then, again, these are just more options for you. So the, what closest to you are parts trays. You can use those for when you're taking something apart and you don't want to lose bolts and nuts and stuff that you've taken off a vehicle. Another great way to keep organized, though, if you don't necessarily have a speed drawer in your roll cab, that's a great way to organize kind of all the random things that you come across as yeah. a technician that you want to keep and keep organized. Many different flavors, many different colors. Also, it does contain a magnet, so that's going to not only hold the, the metal bits that are in there, it's also going to stick and not you're not going to knock it off so easily. Now, let's talk about plier organization. Now, lying down flat, that takes up a lot of room. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So if you look inside the drawer here, you're taking up just about two thirds of your drawer. There's 30 various pliers and cutters and needle nose. <laughs> and they're normally not this well organized. They're too. normally <laughs> not this well organized. A lot of times they're just kind of tossed in there. But this is a great example of using uh, your cubic feet versus your square feet. 
right? Okay. So the more that you can stack vertically and, uh, and, and use that space uh, up and down versus left, right, front to back, yeah. the better. So yeah. if you would, why don't you help me out? Yeah. We'll organize all these and then you can see how much savings you have. So depending on how many uh, pliers or cutters or whatever the situation is, depending on how many you have, That'll uh, determine how many of these racks you need. They come in numbers of 10. Uh, so depending on how many you have can determine what you need. And just like that, we went from two thirds of the drawer to practically just a third of the drawer, a quarter of the drawer. So now you have, look at all, look at all the space. Look at all the space, you can buy more tools. <laughs> exactly, yeah, so the idea again, now that you freed up this front two thirds and moved it to the back quarter or so, you've now uh, freed up a, a lot of square inches that you need as well as cubic inches. Well, if you want to invest in some more tool organization, talk to your franchisee.